Hey everyone, this is John and welcome back. I want to show you guys a, a recent game I picked up for the Nintendo Switch called Super T uh, Trench Attack. Let's go and check it out. Uh, this came out late last year, December 2019 on the Switch. It's been out on Steam since 2014, I believe. Uh, developed by Storybird. Team took them five years to make and it's just two guys that worked on this game. So, plenty of kudos to, to those guys who put the time into making this game. I, playing this a little bit and thought it was kind of funny. I love the story. Uh, the artwork is, is unique, of course. Trench attack. Super trench. Okay, so let's go to credits. Kind of show you the two guys who worked on this game, ported by Josh Prod. I'll put a link below to their website with additional information. You get options, sound, display, controller. You can customize your controller, which is nice. And what's miscellaneous? Uh, auto cold on, uh, H face off, etc. So, Go and start. Let's start a new game. I was playing this on my uh, other Switch. I have a Switch Lite, but better to record using my uh, standard Switch for recording purposes. So I'm going to have to start a new game here. If I can spell my name. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to do normal. Choose your difficulty. One thing that kind of stood out to me were the sound effects in this game. I thought the sound effects really stood out. Pretty decent sound effects. This game is only eight uh, US dollars on the eShop e currently. I think Steam is less than that. I think it's like five bucks on Steam. Definitely unique artwork. So you get this like this uh, dark army who's going to your land, and you're like the one guy who's supposed to save. It's like a World War setting, so it's pretty cool. Let's skip it. Act one. I'm not quite sure how many acts are in this game, to be quite honest with you. Glad to see you, but boy, are we glad to see you after what happened in the last recruits. Last recruits? Uh, forget I said that. You should re report to the H. I guess it's got a stutter. Receive training manual. Okay, move around. You get to two sticks to move around. Gotta follow this bird. Kind of where to go. He knows I'm walking in the direction my aimer is uh, aimed. So you can kind of walk backwards, you know, do the moonwalk in this game. <laughs> Here's headquarters. So the dialogue, uh, you can speed up the dialogue, but also transitions automatically. Um, so if you're not a fast reader, <laughs> so you got to be kind of careful because it can kind of skip fairly quickly. Better get some sleep. I'll follow the bird. Do the moonwalk. Oof. Go to sleep. Better get the report. Sergeant Jones for training. See the map, bottom left corner. Here's boot camp. Let's take a reload. Uh, left shoulder button. Fire is. Right shoulder button. Or, I guess it would be, uh, yeah, R2, L2. I guess as long as you're in the sight of aim, it will hit him. Which 
Oh, using the headshots. Okay, I gotta use headshots here. So you gotta kind of aim for it. Once the red dot shows you're on it. Okay. I reload. Can I fire this guy? What happens? Nothing happens. I got the knife too. Short attack, there you go. Victory. I lost my pants. Follow the bird. So if we hit Y, I, so if we hit Y, I go to this um, inventory here. I have. Here we go. See what she says. Now train. Catch all the bunkers. We need your knockout of the bunker radio antennas first. For me. Receive grenade. So X is used map. Goals are red pinned. So R1 is to use grenade. So you can buy weapons. You can buy upgrades. Um... You can follow this bird or just follow the pin on the map there in the bottom left corner. There they come. Nice stuff. So that's a good guy. These are the bad guys. I need to arm myself. Here we go. Not quite sure what that does. Here, that guy's hanging from his underwear. Oh, dang. Gotta kill me here. Yeah, coins and stuff to uh, pick by items, as I mentioned before. Let's see, it's over here. Swim here. Go right here. Takes a couple of seconds to uh, reload, and it doesn't really show you how many gun bullets you have left in your round. I must be out. Okay. Let me regroup here. Let me get my... Let's see if I get my gun re-equipped here. Guess I can't fire when I'm in the water. I'll restock. Get my coins. I can use grenades here.
And turn off the lights here, that's interesting. Not quite sure what purpose that gives. Wonder if I can grenade this over here. Oops. No, it doesn't do any. Some mushrooms. Can you eat the mushrooms? No. Ah, oh, killer monkeys. No animals are harmed in the making of this game, I'm sure. Oh, they do. They're, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, it, it puts me right in the middle of that? Oh, man. Like, it spawns me right in the middle of that. That's crazy. Watch out for those monkeys. Controls take a little getting used to. You ever play games like Smash TV on the arcade? It kind of reminds me of that. Or Robotron, you know? <laughs> For the classic arcade. But a lot of humor in this game, which is cool. I mean, the pants drop in. Guys get hung by their underwear. Guys stuck in a in a can in there. It's funny that the monkeys do more damage to you than the actual bullets do. Oh, what blew me up? That's interesting. I don't know what happened there. It's it respawns you fairly close to where you were. All right, guys, yeah, I'll put some information in the link below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll have another video up shortly. I appreciate you guys subscribing and for following this channel. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. And uh, take care. Have a great day. Game on.